Alright, first off, my name is Samantha, but I'm usually referred to as Sam. I'm not really into what other girls are into. While most girls are into stuff like shopping, clothes, makeup, and gossip, I'm more into skateboarding, technology, movies, and most of all, video games. I have game consoles like the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but one game console has always fascinated me the Nintendo Wii. For some reason, I love the idea of motion-based gaming. Sure, motion controls today are usually considered as gimmicky, but I didn't care what people think. I wanted a Wii. Sadly, the Wii is hard to come by since its discontinuation in 2013. And with it now being 2016, the only places where you can find them are places like Kijiji and eBay. For a while, I thought I would never get a Wii, until I finally found one. My mother absolutely loves thrift stores, and would usually drag me along with her when she went to them. But me on the other hand, well, I hate them. All the stuff there are so gross and weird. Until one day, my mother took me to a thrift store, and then I went to the electronics section. And there it was. My eyes widened as the Wii box caught my eye. The instant I saw it, I called my mother over, and I asked if we can buy it. And since it was a thrift store, the prices there are way lower than they would be in actual stores. She said yes, as this Wii was only $20. When we got home, I immediately set the Wii up in my bedroom. Once I was done, I turned it on and my TV. Usually, video game consoles would have a setup process. You know, where you put in the time and date, the country you live in, that kind of stuff. But for some reason, this Wii I got didn't have that. But honestly, I didn't care. The game that came with the Wii was Wii Sports, so I decided to play that. But then I forgot something. I had to make my own me first. I could use the guest players, but... I just didn't want to, so I went to the Me channel so I can make a me. But when I got to the Me channel, I found something odd. I saw a me already there, with its back facing me. It was cowering while repeating the words. Please don't delete me, please don't delete me. I just stood there for a moment, not saying a word. The me turned around and looked at me. The me looked kind of weird. He was bald, and his eyes were huge. He had a small nose and a big smiling mouth. I clicked on the me with the Wii remote, and his name read, Etaled. What did that name mean? I couldn't figure it out. And as he stood there, he spoke again. Please, don't delete me. I always had a belief that AI had feelings, that they had souls, so I simply replied with, I'm not going to delete you. Adelaide's expression then changed from a creepy smile to a rather confused look. What? You're not going to delete me? Because everyone deletes me. No, why don't you want to be deleted? I questioned. Edelet started to explain that this Wii was previously owned by a kid named Kyle. He said that when a Mii is deleted, they are sent to a place that he refuses to speak of. I tried to get it out of him, but he wouldn't budge. But I'm guessing it's pretty bad. I then decided to play Wii Sports, without making my own Mii. I just decided to play as Edelet. Wii Sports had a total of five sports included with it. Tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. I really liked boxing, so I played that. 
I chose Edelhead as my me, and the game started. In boxing, I obviously played as Edelhead, and the me that I was versing was named Ryan. I looked at Ryan's skill level, and he was at level 124. Now, that may sound tough, but from what I've heard, level 124 makes Ryan the worst CPU player in boxing, so this should be easy. The match started, and I threw a punch with my Wii Remote, and with that single hit, Ryan fell to the ground. I made a slight chuckle. I knew this would be easy. I ended up winning that match easily. I played a lot more matches after that, all of which I played as Adelaide, and it wasn't until 9.30 that it was time for me to go to bed, since it was a Sunday and I had school the next day. So I turned off the Wii and went to bed. I'm not a fan of school, not because of homework or learning useless crap I'll probably never use in the real world. I don't like school because there's always people bullying me. Everyone in my class knows that I believe that AI have feelings, and they always harass me for it. There's this one group of bullies, with the leader being called William, but he goes by Will. Will is a grade A jerk. He doesn't just bully me, but he bullies all the kids who are either unpopular or different, like the kids who have learning disabilities. Anyway, he and his little group of goons like to refer to me as Sam the Psychopath, mainly due to my belief that AI have feelings. When we got into our homeroom, we sat down and waited for our teacher to arrive. The teacher's name was Mr. Brenner. He is a very laid-back teacher, and every Monday, he asked us how our weekend was. Alright class, how was your weekend? He was met with silence, just like every other day. While he waited for someone to share their experiences over the weekend, I slowly raised my hand. Sam! Mr. Brenner called. I just sat there for a second, as I was thinking how to explain my experiences with Edelad. Um, I spoke to a me on my Nintendo Wii yesterday. I said, I don't know why I shared my experiences with Edeled, probably just to make Mr. Brenner feel good. After I shared, my class started laughing while I embarrassingly sat there. After the laughing stopped, we carried on with the morning. Next period, I was walking to my next class when Will and his friends, Cooper and Dan, stopped me. Hey Sam the Psychopath, Will yelled, are you missing your little me friend? He continued as he pushed me. Shut up, Will, I quietly said as I tried to get past. What? He questioned. What did you say to me? He continued as he gripped my shoulder and spun me to face him. I dare you to repeat that. Will threatened quietly. He let go of my shoulder and I walked away. Yeah, run! Run, you little me friend! He yelled as I continued to walk away. I got to my class and everything went by smoothly until about 10 minutes before lunch. We were in history and we were working on an assignment about World War I. And as I was working, I could hear talking. I looked up and saw another group of bullies talking about me. This group consisted of three girls, Ellie, Jane, and Faith. They usually sit next to each other in classes and would gossip and talk about other people instead of doing actual work. On this day, I sat right behind them, and I could overhear their conversation. You know Sam, right? Ellie asked Jane. Yeah, she's so weird, Jane replied. I tried to ignore them while I continued working. You know her stupid wee she's been talking about? Well, maybe she has some mental condition and she's hallucinating, Faith said as she laughed. What are you guys talking about me for? I asked. Yo, were we talking about you? No. Ellie quietly hissed at me. They think that I'm some stupid idiot and some weird kid with a mental condition. And they think that I'm gullible enough to keep working, thinking that I was mistaken. Ellie, I know what I hear and I know what I see, 
I quietly confronted Ellie as I leaned forward. Yo, shut up, Sam, Ellie stated, and I leaned in further. Stop talking about me, I quietly demanded. Okay, fine, just go back to working, Ellie said with a sassy tone. I overheard them a bit more, and I was surprised to hear that they were now just talking about their pathetic TV shows, and then they started talking about shopping and going to the mall. I felt vomit rise in my throat. Get a life, I thought. The day went by normally after that. Other than some kids giving me some weird looks, it was fine. I always walk home from school, mainly because I live so close to my school and that my mom is always at work on the weekdays. She usually gets back from work, usually around an hour after I get home. Anyway, today was no different, but Will does take the same route as me to get to his home, which is a bit further down. Sometimes I look back and see him walking a safe distance behind. I didn't really care though, because he doesn't do too much when his friends aren't with him. Eventually, I got home and I locked the door behind me. I went to my room and I decided to talk to Edeled. I turned on my TV and Wii, and I sat on my bed while I held the Wii remote in my hand. As the Wii menu glowed onto my face, I pointed the Wii remote to the Me channel, and I pressed the A button. I pressed start. When the Me channel opened, I saw Edeled. Hi Edeled, I said softly. Sam, I need you to turn off the Wii. Edeled spoke in a rather scared tone. Why? I asked. Someone's coming. Turn off the Wii and hide it! Edeled fearfully yelled. I didn't understand. Who was coming and why was Edeled so afraid? But before I could say anything else, I heard running. Running that seemed to get closer and closer. Sarah, turn off the Wii! Edeled panicked as I ran to turn off the Wii. As my finger inched to the power button, I stopped. I heard my window open. I looked at my window and I saw Will. Hey, psychopath! Having fun with your little me? Will said sarcastically. What the hell was he doing here? Did he follow me home? Why was he here? I looked over at the TV screen, with the Wii still on. Edeled was shaking. Will came in and grabbed the Wii remote out of my hand. Let's see what the little guy's name is, Will said as he pointed the Wii remote to Edeled and clicked on him. The speech bubble containing Edeled's name appeared over his head, and Will analyzed the name. That's backwards for delete, Will said. Is it? I asked. Yes, yeah, stupid, you really didn't notice that? Wow, you're stupider than I thought, Will angrily said. But, because his name is backwards for delete, let's delete him, Will joyfully announced as he picked up Edelet and dragged him to the delete icon. I jumped up and tried to pull the Wii remote out of his hands, but Will was stronger than me and he was slowly able to get him to the delete icon. The text box then appeared asking if we wanted to delete the me. Will started to inch his way to the yes button, while I tried to inch my way to the no button. Will was able to get to the yes button and he pressed A. And then, the me deletion sound played. Will had a smirk on his face while I was making an expression of pure worry. Edeled was being sent to that place that he told me about. I couldn't imagine the pain that he's going through. I laid on my bed as Will walked towards my window. See you later, Sam the Psychopath, Will yelled as he was getting ready to jump out of my window. But then, we heard a voice. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. The voice sounded like Edeled, so I sprang out of my bed to find him back in the me channel. And this time, he was standing next to another me, which looked exactly like Will. Will then turned around to face the TV. This is you, right Will? Will was in a state of shock, and his me looked worried, as if something terrible was about to happen. 
Will slowly walked to the back of my room. Why are you so frightened, Will? Are you scared? Just like you're me? Will didn't answer. Well, one thing's for sure. You've brought this on yourself, Will. I'll be right back. Edelad announced as he walked off screen. A few seconds later, he came back with an axe. He kicked Will's knee over and put his foot on him. Edelad, stop! What are you doing? I yelled as Edelad raised the axe. Shut up! I've taught someone not to delete me this way before, and I'm not afraid to do it again! Will just stood there, unable to move, speak, or do anything because of the fear. I ran to turn off the Wii, but I tripped on my bed leg, and I fell to the ground. I looked up at the TV. I went through the pain of being deleted. And now it's time for you and me to suffer! Say goodbye, you heartless- I turned off the TV before Edelad could finish his sentence. I got up and turned to Will. You need to leave, I said quietly. Will ran to my window and jumped out. He ran off. I closed my window and sat on my bed. I stared at the Wii for minutes non-end with questions filling my mind. Why did this happen? Why did Edelad do this? What was the result going to be? What was the resolution intended to be? But this question filled up my mind the most. Why did I get this Wii?